to start to now on the Jiggy Jaguar experience. Okay, we've got the dead century. They've joined our Skype call here. Look at that. They joined our Skype call, so I think we might have the dead century with us today. And uh, Hello. Look at all I them. Holy smokes, they are the dead century. We have got some great guests joining us. Live as live can get. They're like a fish in a hurricane. The dead century join us today here in our big program. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves, guys. T tell us all about yourselves. Yeah, right on. Uh, so we are a four-piece. We're based in the beautiful city of St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, and we play rock and roll music. That's, uh, that's the short version. That's awesome. Long, That's awesome. How long you got? <laughs> so, the Dead Century, how did you guys get together as a group? For sure. So, Joe Paul, this guy over here, and I are brothers. So, we've been together for a while, uh, making music in some or other fashion. Uh, we moved to the Twin Cities a, uh, what, shit, maybe uh, five years ago-ish, maybe? Thereabouts, yeah. Uh, and then ran into these guys uh, in the cities, Rob at the uh, college that we were going to, and then Austin through a mutual friend at a wedding. Kind of one of those happenstance moments. That's awesome. That's fantastic. We have got the Dead Century with us today. They join us this week here on 990 WBOB out there in Rhode Island, of all places. They also are joining us on the mix as well, and, uh, of course, JiggyJaguar.com and the Fun. And uh, the Dead Century with us today. They're an indie alternative rock band. They are based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And uh, they're with us today here on our big broadcast. So I have to know, if you're joining us, if you're watching our interview on Skype, and if you're not watching us on Skype, you need to go uh, watch this video interview when we get it posted to Rumble or BitChute. Or the mic dot fun or oh the Facebook. Um, I have got to know what in the world is the deal with the head behind you? There is a head there. Uh, oh, yeah. so who that, um, is this? You know, is this security? Yeah. Is this the manager? <laughs> is no, this it's, uh, it's Al Snow's well, cousin? He uh, he manages our merch table. Uh, manages mannequin. the merch table. It's the oh, merch he does guy. Does a pretty good job at it. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not very clothed right now. No. But uh, <laughs> it's the merch guy. I tell you, whatever that merch guy is doing, that merch guy has got some abs. Oh, well, yeah. Whatever yeah, that merch guy is doing, we all need to be more like the merch guy. Holy shit! So uh, <laughs> I think that's awesome. So we've got the dead century, and then of course, doing the interview, they had to bring the merch guy. That's awesome. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, um, how do we get a hold of you guys on the web, uh, social media, uh, all that? Yeah, so we've got a website, um, thedeadcentury.com. We have got Instagram at the underscore dead underscore century um, on Facebook at the Dead Century. Uh, newly on TikTok because that's what the kids are doing nowadays. That's um, right. At, that's right. Also at the Dead Century. Um, yeah, and then streaming everywhere as well. I was I was trying to get uh, that there there is a uh, there is a a comedian we were talking to earlier, and I was trying to get him to get on TikTok, and he's like, "Oh, dog, the algorithms, I don't know, dog." I'm like, "No, you need to get on TikTok. That's what everybody's doing." So, uh, so the Dead Century with us today. They join us live here on the old Skip Skype, the old Skyper Rooney, and uh, the Dead Century are fantastic. Uh, so, tell me a little bit about your musical heroes and influences. Yeah, good question. Um, I think actually one of the one of the things that makes playing in this this outfit so fun is that we draw on some some slightly different sources. I, I know uh, I am particularly inspired by um, very lyric-forward rock and roll. So uh, Bruce Springsteen, obviously, I think everyone's got to worship at his altar at some point. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of The Replacements, uh, keep the Twin Cities connection there, and then uh, a big fan of anything that Craig Finn puts out. So the whole Steady's work has been a huge, huge source of inspiration. Uh, but I know, like I said, uh, we're, we're, we're a little different um, in what we, what we vibe to, so I should let the rest of the guys chime in here. 
Yeah, uh, like you said, a lot of different stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff that I listened to and grew up listening to, um, some of the West Coast uh, kind of punk stuff. Um, so the Frights, Fiddler, Together, Pangea, who just came out with a new album. Uh, definitely worth um, checking out. Some of the garage uh, rock stuff like that. It's definitely kind of my background. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I like rock, I like rap, I like anything. I don't know. Yeah, and I kind of grew up listening to a lot of, like, the pop punk stuff, so, like, Fall Out Boy and Green Day. Um, yeah. Oh, it sort of comes into a weird space relative to, like, a lot of stuff that Nick writes. But, like Nick said, I think it's fun seeing the way that um, all of those different things play together. And I think what you get out of the, at the end of that process is something that none of us probably would have come up with by ourselves, which I think is one of the really fun things about being in a band with, with guys who um, love music as much as you do, even if it's different, make it in the stuff that you grew up listening to. That's sure. awesome. Yeah, no, it's, it always winds up being uh, that the finished product in this sort of collaborative uh, atmosphere is greater than the, uh, some of its parts. The Dead Century with us today. They join us live here on our big broadcast. And uh, the new single is Enough to Get You Killed. It is the first single from the uh, six-track effort called The Well, which is going to be releasing uh, later this year. Tell me a little bit about this track, and then we're going to play it here in a few moments. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we started writing this tune, or I started writing this tune after a beautiful long night out in the great city of Chicago. Uh, we were uh, hitting some bars up, as one does, in the beautiful great city of Chicago. Uh, and on the L train home, uh, my vision may be a little blurry, I, uh, I was sort of musing on, on how easy it is to let some of that, those sort of happier moments in life uh, you know, take over if you're not too careful. So that was the, the seed. I took out my phone, I wrote down that first that first line, uh, it's a fine line between enough and enough to get you killed. I thought, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I uh, went back and wrote a song about it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, we are going to do this. We're going to place you guys on a brief hold here on here on the old Skip Skype. We're going to play the track, and we'll be right back with them. It is enough. It is the brand new single, and it is from our guest today, the fantastic fantastic group and uh if i can get this pulled up here without too much problems the dead century it's enough to get you killed here on a big program. Chicago sun I felt it out before Pushing out of every pole Spin it out and throwing up a lump You know it didn't seem to matter I was chasing down transcendence But getting out a little bit of fun Because every fleeting high Every toxin that I tried Never got me that much past Where I'll be gone And all my other friends Who were rich enough for rehab Had doctors write up notes For all their bills yeah, it's a real fine line between enough and enough to get you killed I got a friend who grew up in Sacramento Fell in love with a girl from Calumet Got a deal on some land in Indiana They got married and away they went you know, one day she runs away with this guy who works in real estate Where they wind up sending for these cats Now he's down and unemployed somewhere in southern Illinois Trying to get himself some cash to get back with When you think love is just some other drug You're some only self out for the world It's a real fine line between enough and enough to get you killed
inches and somewhere between We chase those little things that help us live our lives Caught a vice, caught a crutch, caught a guilty pleasure met Well, none of this should come as a surprise Well, there's so much disaster Chasing after peace or power Or plunder or some other precious prize What's there to say at the end of the day Well, it's a miracle that anyone survived And I don't claim to be a perfect man Far from it, but at this point I think I know the trip Well, it's a real final line between us now And not to get you killed is the dead century and they join us this week here on our big broadcast so we go back to the old skip skype the old skype rooney yeah and we have got the dead century yeah. back with us they are fantastic and uh so guys how do you uh come up with your songwriting process what 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 what, what is that like for you guys nick just writes the songs pretty much <laughs> it's what happens and then we play them that's the long and short of it. I think it's a little bit more collaborative than that. Um, I, I'll come to the gang with a, uh, a demo or a set of lyrics or, or even something as simple as um, a riff that I find compelling and a, and a chord progression to go under it. Uh, and, and they kind of take it from there. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's really edifying and remarkable to look back over some of these demos, uh, see the, the sort of idea that I had at the beginning, and then where the song ends up is somewhere that's, uh, completely different, um, and, and and nine times or nine hundred times out of ten, uh, it, it's better. So so uh, definitely a, a collaborative a collaborative effort. That's awesome. We've got the Dead Century with us today. They join us live here in our broadcast. So tell me a little bit about uh, this new album that we played the single for earlier. Yes, yeah, going to be our first kind of like full effort as a, as a whole group. Um, Nick and John Paul, sort of before Rob and I joined them, put out uh, our Nevada Sun EP, which is out on Spotify. Um, and we've done a few singles since then together, but this is kind of the first larger project that we've done as a full band. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. It's kind of an interesting crop of songs. Each one has something a little bit different about it. So we've been working on it for, I think, what is it? A year and a half or so now, uh, so yeah. we're we're very excited to have it finally sort of come out uh, and see what people think of it. I guess. Yeah, a lot of the songs are I don't know. We like a lot of them. Some of them we wrote a year or two ago, and some of them have been more recent than that. Um, they're kind of yeah, pulling different sounding songs that we all just wanted to pull together. Um, and the record is called The Well because we live at a place which we call the Well. Um, check us out on Google Google Maps. No, to find no the well, well that's well. awesome. But um, <laughs> yeah, so we live on a street called Wellesley, um, and so we wanted to name the record after kind of where these songs were written. You know, because our friend group uh, kind of hangs out around here, and just like a lot of fond memories are made here. Um, so it's a collection of songs that were kind of written um, with this place in mind. So uh, tell me a little bit about uh, where you guys see the band going over the next couple of years. <laughs> I mean, who knows? I mean, we, we if you had asked us uh, a couple of years ago, uh, we would have we would have said we're going to keep playing, and then the world shut down. So, <laughs> so who knows? We're, we're we're willing to sort of ride this thing wherever um, wherever it takes us. Yeah, I think we're all just like very grateful for what we've got right now. It, it's a lot of fun being able to make music in general, but I, I think personally I'm like super grateful to get to make it with these guys. Um, so as as long as we're able to continue doing that, I, I think we're gonna we're gonna try to do so. 
That's awesome. That's awesome. We have got the Dead Century with us today. And they join us here on our big broadcast. So, uh, once again, if people want to buy your music or get involved with what you're doing, how exactly do they do that, guys? We are wherever you consume music. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple Music. Uh, I don't know, Tidal. Wherever, wherever you find it, there we are. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, guys, we're this... Cities. We're playing shows, too, so come on and say hi. Awesome. So so where are you guys going to be over over the next several months or whatever? Yeah, we, we just got done, actually, just this past Thursday, playing a show at a venue here in Minneapolis called 7th Street Entry. Uh, that was a lot of fun. We're right now kind of in the process of um, sort of going through the release process for the record uh, and booking some shows in conjunction with that so trying to get some stuff set up for the fall uh hopefully some more shows here around the twin cities and maybe in the midwest as well stay tuned yeah that's awesome that's awesome well you guys are amazing thanks for making time for us and uh thanks for coming on the program R really appreciate the time hey we're super, yeah. yeah we're super grateful thanks for having us thank you guys there they go that is the dead century and we are going to take a time out. And when we come back, we have got more coming up.